Hi there, I'm Jane Sibbett. A lot of stories have been coming in and I feel so humble in sharing them so it's better for the other people to tell them. Hi, hi my name is Jeannie. My name is Shali. My name's Eric and I have Lyme disease. And today I was having um, pain in my foot, plantar fasciitis, I was having hip pain and I was having, I just noticed all of a sudden I had a bad uh, toe injury and I was looking down and it looked infected. Well so I've been going through a lot of pain, mm -hmm. uh, past a year and a half to lots of pain and Weird, weird kind of thing has been happening in my body. Um, I don't know why. I've been always healthy and then suddenly this drop of weird pains. But I contracted Lyme disease from a deer tick two years ago. I also contracted babesiosis, which is the, I guess, Latin name for malaria, North American malaria. So six months ago, my knees were in such bad shape, I could not walk up the stairs without holding onto the rail and using my arms to get up the stairs. Um, I brought my daughter, she's 17, um, and she got sick about four years ago. And um, really kind of an unknown illness, it's been a long road. And um, she really knew nothing about this, she just kind of took a leap of faith and came and loved it. <laughs> and um, so many years of how, you know, how to help my child when I, you know, feeling hopeless. And my daughter um, is feeling great. I haven't seen her this well in four years. And um, after the session, she told you that three days before that, she had a dream about being in a beautiful white dress. Um, okay. Very vivid dream. And do you remember the word that I told her in the dance? Live, that one, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yep and that's really what we've done. When I saw Jane do her dancing, it just felt completely tenacious and enthusiastic, and it was, um, it was very beautiful. It came from a place like deep within the heart. Um, it was very, it was ecstatic, and it was joyful, and it was childlike, and it was, it was pure. Like, uh, when I came here, my uh, right arm is like, uh, it's been uh, not used for a while. So it's kind of, uh, I remember when I came here, the energy was kind of uh, stuck, you know. And after having a session with the Jane in uh, Central Park, it was, I felt like uh, it's opening up and it's healing, you know. Because my breathing is not good. I have one lung that doesn't work. But as soon as, as soon as, as we looked in each other's eyes, she really gave me my breath back. So Jane came up with this radical idea. Let me do my dancing hands on your knees. And I thought, well, geez, I've tried the wrapping in them in tinfoil, you know, turmeric and every other kind of holistic uh, cure for this. So she did her dancing hands on my knees and immediately I felt the warm tingling. I saw, actually first I saw that the blood vessels come to the surface like there was this pressure in my knee. But it didn't hurt, it just kind of tingled and I, I thought, what is going on? I could see that the veins coming to the surface as if there was, you know, I guess this energy expanding or something in there. So after that first treatment, I felt a lot looser, I thought, is it possible, but I'm walking without a limp? I don't feel like I'm an old man walking like this. And my, my gait loosened up. She did one or two more treatments, and like within a week I was able to start jogging again. So after um, working with her in like 30 minutes or less, uh, my toe was no longer showing any signs of swelling or green, and I have no pain in my hip and no pain in my foot. But after Jane starts working on me, it's been for two months now, things started shifting. Uh, lesser pain, lesser pain. But also that feeling of that something is moving, there's big change coming, definitely in my life. Is stepping in, like Jane is like one, one person that's been there, maybe helping me to open that big door. I definitely I've become more conscious of my body, my health, more sensitive to energy. Um, my energy is very powerful. So with that kind of energy, it really 
When someone is that creative and when someone appreciates their creative, creative expression that much, it really provides a platform for other people to express themselves. And so right when Jane started dancing, I was called immediately to dance with her and just join in that joyful celebration of life and healing and, um, and togetherness. So it was really amazing.